Aries, welcome back to my channel. Um, and this is a week ahead reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Very intense. We have forcing myself to forget you. Wow. Okay. So I'm getting that, honestly, I'm getting that this masculine is pissed. Okay. They're feeling emotions that they can't even name at this time. But the emotions that's sticking out is anger and frustration. And in their minds, you're the reason for this Divine Feminine. I'm getting you're always the reason. Whether you know it or not, you're the only person who can garner this type of reaction from your masculine. You literally make them feel every emotion, which is mind blowing to them, but also may be a little bit uncomfortable for them as well. This is someone that you may not have spoken to for a while and they are beginning to feel the effects of your absence. It's like they went through the entire process of grieving your absence, of grieving not being around you or you being at a distance from one another. And currently they're pissed, okay? But if they were to be 100% honest with you, there's like this underlying energy where they're very, very hurt. They're frustrated and they're most likely lovesick. I'm getting Divine Feminine that you set the bar pretty high. So there's something about your energy that your person feels is completely unmatched. Maybe they've never told you this, but they definitely feel like you're irreplaceable. There's a focus here. It's like they want to highlight on your energy and how you make them feel. I'm, I'm getting like, they feel like two totally different people. So this could be pertaining to how they feel in your presence versus when they're not with you. But your connection is one that they associate with a higher vibration. It's like you have this ability to see certain things that other people may overlook. But overall, it's coming through as if there's something very effortless about your connection. And maybe they've never verbalized this to you, but you can definitely feel it. Because I'm getting that although you are at a distance, this was supposed to be temporary, okay? And for some reason, it's now been dragged out. Maybe the, this masculine is the one who initiated this. Or you may feel as if they are the reason for the delays in the connection. But where they stand currently, they are really, really missing you. And it's actually pissing them off that you're not there. Because anytime that you have to force something, means that you're in a position of resistance because they're literally forcing themselves to forget about you. So maybe they're thinking about you a lot. I'm getting everything maybe reminding them of you. Um, and even though you're at a distance, they have never stopped feeling your energy. So maybe that's the thing. They've never experienced this before. This has been like a nonstop type of thing. So yeah, they're beginning to feel the difference between, you know, having direct access to you and then feeling your absence, okay? And this is a look into their mental process. This is how they're currently processing this. They're in a very angry phase. So instead of going into their heart space, they're kind of resisting their feelings right now. And I'm getting that nothing is working. So they could be trying all of their tactics. They could be trying to keep busy, working late, hanging out with their friends, telling themselves that they're over you. None of it's working, okay? And what's actually, what's interesting here, what's actually blowing their minds I'm getting is that they never had to go to these type of lengths before. So the fact that they have to allocate their time a certain way just so they won't think about you is actually speaking volumes of how much they actually love you, how much they care about you, and how much they are missing you at this time. So I'm getting that your energy is absolutely consuming them. You may be feeling this too, Divine Feminine. I feel like you may be, you know, feeling kind of emotional or your emotions may be a little chaotic and you could be wondering where this is coming from. This is definitely stemming from how your person is feeling at this time. They're definitely pulling on you. And because the both of you are feeling this, I feel like it may be causing this to come through a little bit more intense, okay? Let's get the next message here. So the next message we have is 
This wasn't my plan. Hmm. Okay, so I just got important, okay? So this is very, it's very imperative for you to know this, okay? This masculine wants you to know that they had plans for this connection, for the pace of it, for the direction of it. And somehow they feel as if you kind of slip through their hands. Sometimes, somehow they feel like somewhere along your journey, they lost control of this. And for some reason, their heart space is communicating, letting you know that they did not plan this. They had no intentions of your connection being where it is currently. And they need you to know that. I'm getting that you may feel your person's energy heavy at this time. It's like they want to say something to you, even if the communication is minimal, even if you haven't spoken to them in a while, something within their energy is like they want to say something, but they're being very strategic about when they speak to you or how much they say. Okay, so something about the communication there being a little stuck. They may actually be trying to figure you out, Divine Feminine, but your energy may be hard for them to read at this time. It's almost as if they want you to know how they feel, but they're not telling you. Okay? Wow, I just got, you know how I feel. So for some of you, you are actually so energetically bonded that your person knows that you know all of this already. But for some reason, they're just not in the position to tell you. Maybe they're trying to find the words here. But I'm also getting that um, something else could be causing a little bit of resistance here. And I'm getting that the fact that this could be so overdue that they feel like they cannot read your energy anymore. So Divine Feminine, I feel like for some of you who are at a distance from your masculine, you gave yourself like a block of time. So from the moment that the communication began to phase out, maybe you say, okay, if they contact me within X amount of time, I'll be willing to work this out. I'll be willing to talk about this. But I feel like it has surpassed whatever block of time that you gave, you know, your person to come back around. And your person may be very, very nervous or feel as if you're no longer open to discussing this. Like discussing this is no longer on the table for you and they're deeply hurt, okay? And maybe they just, they don't know how to say this, but where you are on your journey right now was not a part of the plan for them at all. So when you cross paths or when things were going smoothly between the both of you, they didn't think this far. This was the part that they were not prepared for, being away from you for this long, okay? And it's not even the fact that you know, being separate from you that's bothering them because I'm getting that for some of you, this is not the first time, okay? You have a certain, you know, flow to your connection. Maybe you go a little while, but you always kind of come back. But this time is, is it feels different. I don't know, it just feels, it's becoming painful at this point for them. And I'm also getting something about text messages here. So they could be rereading messages. Um, this could be like a text thread, an email thread here, but this there's a very like reminiscent kind of energy over here. But what's really sticking out with this card, with this energy is that they had plans for you and they didn't see your connection being in this current state, right? And it's like, I feel like both of you feel that where you are right now, but there's kind of like this avoidant energy that I just felt. So maybe you both feel this energy. Maybe you both are curious about what's going on, but no one is budging. No one is asking questions. No one is probing to kind of see what's going on here. And you both really don't understand why, okay? So both of you could be in this energy where, you know, you want to know what's going on, but no one's asking the questions. No one's um, initiating anything. You know, the energy is just kind of there. Hmm. Okay, but yeah, they, they want you to know that they didn't plan this. It's like their heart space is coming through letting you know that they never had intentions of your connection being where it is right now. Let's get the next message. Oh, so the next message is you have my heart. Yeah. 
So I'm getting, well, I just got something about your eyes, Divine Feminine. I'm getting the moment that this masculine looked into your eyes, they literally felt everything surrender, okay? Like you literally have their heart, Divine Feminine. You have the center of their being, okay? And they need you to know this, but they need you to understand this on a deep level. Even though you're at a distance from them, and what's, what's interesting is that even though they are feeling upset because this masculine is angry, okay, but it's misplaced anger. They're really hurt. They're really sad. Okay, they're really missing you. But instead of dropping down into their heart space, they're in their ego maybe. You know, they're feeling erratic and they're pissed. Okay, the energy is coming through very intense. For some of you who are really connected to your masculine, they feel as if you already know this. You know them very well. You know their moods. You know how they change, okay? So you can pick up on this energy because it's very intense, okay? But what's interesting here is that no matter how mad they are or how intense their feelings are coming through, their heart space will always communicate with you. Always tell you the truth, Divine Feminine. And that's kind of like your power. It's like your Divine Masculine wants you to know how powerful you are as it pertains to them and, and how they feel about you. It's like, even though they're in this prideful type of energy, the love that they have for you is stronger. And you know this as well. So there's a divine feminine where you know the type of effect that you have on this masculine energy, okay? Because um, there's something really effortless. I keep getting like something really effortless about your energies together. It just works. And you know that you have a major effect on them. You can feel it. You can see it. Even if they haven't said this, the energy of your connection is just very, very high vibrational. And I'm getting that because of this, your person is, is pulling on your energy a lot. For some of you, this is happening daily and you can feel them. I'm also getting a lot of heavy 5D activity as well that just came through very, very clearly. For some of you, you may feel this really intensely at nighttime. It's heightened. For others of you, this could literally be daily, like at random times of the day, you'll feel your person's energy. You may feel sad. You may feel um, bouts of happiness. It's, it's your person's range of emotions because they're really up and down right now, okay? Because they're in this forceful, resistant kind of energy. And because of that, anytime you assume this type of position, it's like your body will, will react in an adverse kind of way, sending you all of these triggers. So they're extremely triggered at this time, okay, emotionally. But yeah, they're, they're trying to sit back and they're trying to analyze everything. And it's like everything is coming to them at once. So if you're wondering, you know, how your person views you, how they feel about you, they feel like you're in this powerful position, Divine Feminine, whether you know it or not, because you have access to their heart space, okay? And their heart communicates with you, regardless of what they're... Um, their action, their inaction, regardless of what they're saying or what they're not saying, the center of their being communicates with you. You have access right at their core, okay? And this is probably what it's frustrating them as well, okay? Because it makes them feel just all types of emotions. And maybe emotions that they don't want to feel, okay? Let's get the next message here. The next message we have is, never thought I'd admit this. Wow. Okay. I'm getting clearly that if you're resonating with this message so far, this masculine had a gut feeling about you literally since the beginning. And this gut feeling made them feel very, very uneasy. And where they stand right now, that feeling has been confirmed. It's almost like the energy is coming through like they knew deep down that they would not be able to handle this emotionally. And this is very specific to you. It's about feeling these emotions about you that's sticking out here. 
they've come to this to this realization that you are irreplaceable. But it's, it's deeper than that. It's to the point where they've actually admitted to themselves that they don't want anyone else. So if you thought that they moved on or if they forgot about you, they want you to know that that's not even possible. Like, it's literally, it's physically, it's emotionally impossible for them to even make a move like that, Divine Feminine, because you have their heart, their entire heart. And they never thought that they would admit this because no one has ever stopped them in their tracks like this. I'm getting specifically that for this masculine energy, it may be really, really easy for them to fill this space, okay? So this is a type of masculine energy who may, you know, be very attractive, very assertive, okay? I'm getting a very, just a very, very confident um, type of masculine energy here who can go out, who can fill this space um, and this distance between you with another feminine energy. And it's like what's sticking out to them is they don't even feel the urge to do this. Like they don't even feel motivated to, you know, entertain anyone, get close to anyone, try to even fill this space or try to pour themselves into something else, you know, it's like they know the difference. They put you in your own category. With you, everything is more intense, Divine Feminine. And they knew, it's like they're admitted to themselves, like they knew that if it was to ever get to this point emotionally, their emotions would be like times 10, you know? Everything with you is, is way more powerful. And they never plan to be away from you. This, this is what's sticking out here. They never plan to be away from you because they simply cannot handle it. And the times that you spent with them, I'm getting this clearly, they feel like the time that you spent together when you were bonding, this could be your, your energetic connection, just everything, were some of the best times in their lives. And they never wanted this to end. They never wanted this to stop. So just the thought of this, you know, in the beginning, I'm getting back to the beginning, your person felt something that hit them right in their gut, you know, that was like, you know, if this, if this doesn't work out or if something happens, I don't know how I'll be able to cope with that. And that feeling has just been confirmed because where they are right now, they're not able to handle it, okay? And it's like, so I feel like both of you may be thinking about your connection heavily at this time. Maybe pulling on each other's energies a lot in the 5D because where you are right now in the 3D is just, it's too painful for you to dissect. It makes both of you kind of question everything. It makes you question one another. But deep down, I'm getting that your hearts are trying to communicate the truth to you. But this may very well be one of those moments in the connection where you feel as if that's not enough or your person could be feeling that. It's like they know the truth. They know that, you know, things are going to work out. They know that things are going to come back together. But that just might not be enough. You know, your person is seeking something deeper with you at this time. It's like they need something tangible. This is a very mutual energy as well. So I feel like Divine Feminine, you could be feeling this too. It's like you really seek to connect with them on a deeper level. And, and this distance is just, you know, it's very, very uncomfortable. This, this is a very sensitive, you know, stage of the connection right now. Or just a very sensitive energy that's kind of ling lingering over your connection at this time, okay? Let's get the next message here. Wow. The next message we have is, I don't want to feel this way. Yeah. Yeah, your person is in a state of surrender right now. And they don't want to fight this anymore. I feel like they feel completely drained. It's like the fact that they have to force themselves is completely draining them right now. It's, it's you know, for them to act as if they don't miss you, for them to be trying to force themselves to forget you right now, it's really no point of them doing this when they know that nothing can make them stop feeling. And that's the thing about this connection, Divine Feminine. Your masculine is not able to turn it off. 
it never stops. It's literally never stopped, no matter how long. For some of you, you've been in no contact for a very long time and you genuinely wonder, how does my person process emotion? You know, how are they feeling? Do they feel my energy? Do they feel, you know, the intensity? They, they have never stopped feeling from the day that they met you. You have activated something within their heart space that is never going to turn off, okay? That's how deep this, this thing is, okay? Very, very deep. And they're trying very, very hard, you know? So I feel like they, they may be at this place where they're realizing, I kind of feel like um, like a deep sigh, okay? Where your person could just be trying to figure out a way to better address how they're feeling right now. Because yeah, they're very, very all over the place. And this is mainly because they've come face to face with one of their biggest fears. And that is feeling so far away from you, but also knowing that you are so close. And that's, that's the painful part. That's one of the most painful aspects of this connection, feeling so far away from your person, but also knowing that you can just pick up the phone and call them, but there's something there. Maybe divine timing, maybe the energy is not right. Maybe they have something going on. Maybe you have something going on, you know, that makes it so painful to feel like, wow, my person is on the other end of a phone call and I can't pick up the phone and call them. You know, that's, that's their biggest fear. And upon coming in contact with you, your person knew that they were not going to be able to handle these types of emotions because they feel the effects of your love, Divine Feminine. Um, they've never felt a love this deep before. They've never had someone, you know, stop them in their tracks. It's almost as if when, when the distance started, when the distance started or um, when the no contact started, it's like your person felt like something stopped. It's like they stopped dead in their tracks and they're trying to figure out how to navigate this space right now. But they're realizing that they don't want to feel this way anymore. They don't want to assume this kind of resistant position because it doesn't help them. It actually makes them feel worse. And they're exerting more energy trying to forget you than it is to just drop down into their heart space and feel what it is that they're feeling. Okay, or to simply reach out to you and express this. But there's a little fear around that. They're wondering if you are even, you know, open to this. Has too much time went by? Do you still love them? These are questions that the masculine energy, you know, thinks of and asks themselves as well. So Divine Feminine, I know that you feel a lot of, you know, intense emotions as it pertains to this connection, but your person shares this with you. That's a commonality that you share in this connection. No one is exempt from feeling the highs and lows, whether you are the awakened twin, whether you are unawakened, runner, chaser, however you identify, no one is exempt from feeling, okay? And that's the thing. When you come in contact with your person, they turn something on in you that never turns off, okay? And this is just giving you a look into that process, a look into how your masculine processes these types of emotions. They would do anything in their power to not feel this because of how painful it is, okay? Let's get the next message here. Wow. The last message we have is trust your intuition. Wow, okay. So I definitely feel like your person is at this place where they are trying to, I feel like this is a message coming directly from their heart space, okay? Telling you to trust in how it is that your person feels about you, but more importantly, the love that you share within this connection. I definitely feel like you both could be pulling on one another at this time, trying to work through these very, very intense emotions. Um, but yeah, trust what it is that you feel deep within your heart space. I feel like your person is trying to read your energy. If you're wondering how they're currently viewing you or how they're, they're feeling right now, it's like the only thing they have right now is their intuition and their heart space because of the distance. But this is not what they want right now and you both feel that intensely. They know that you know that this is not what they want. 
this is coming through very, very clear. So I feel like they're definitely trying to cleanse and clear their energy so that they can think straight and put some action behind these emotions because how they're feeling right now, it's literally all over the place. It's like they go from wanting you, you know, wanting to be close to you, to feeling pissed off, to feeling angry, you know, to blaming themselves, to projecting this energy onto you. It's just a lot, you know, you may definitely feel this as well, Divine Feminine. I feel like overall your connection could be in a very, very sensitive space, but your person is coming through. It's like their higher self is coming through, letting you know to trust what it is that you know. Trust what it is that you know about how your person feels at this time. And they're telling themselves the same thing as well because they question the validity of this connection just as much as you do, especially if you've been away from one another for a very long time because this, this wasn't their plan, okay? Some reason this kind of phased out over time, something happened here. There could be barriers on their end, on your end. This could have naturally, this could have happened organically. This could have just been divine timing. The universe kind of pulling you both in two different directions for a while. Whatever this is right now, this is, your person wants you to know that they did not plan on this happening because they could not just emotionally fathom, you know, being in this position right now with you. So if you were wondering how your person is currently feeling about you, um, they're feeling every single type of emotion <laughs> that there is, okay? But there's a lot of love here. There's an underlying energy of love, okay? And I definitely feel like they're trying to clear and work through these things so that they can kind of take some action, but some awakened action in your direction, okay? So these are the messages that I have for you all tonight. If you resonated with this message, be sure to hit the like button on your way out. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.